This week's module is Access 2013. The first thing that we're going to do is Unit A, Getting Started with Access. Microsoft Access is a relational database software that runs on the Windows operating system. You use relational database software to manage data that's organized into lists, such as information about customers, products, vendors, employees, projects, or sales. Many small companies track customer, customers, inventory, and sales information in a spreadsheet program such as Excel. Excel works, however, Access would work better in these cases. Some of the advantages of using Access for database management include duplicate data is min minimized, information is more accurate, more reliable and consistent because duplicate data is minimized. Data entry is faster and easier using access forms. Information can be viewed and sorted in many ways using access queries, forms, and reports. Information is more secure using access passwords and their security features. And finally, several users can share and edit information at the same time. Now I'm going to select a file or a database that I want to look at. One of my recent databases is the Quest A Travel and it's sitting on the desktop. I could select it there or I can select Open Other Files. I can go to My Computer, My Desktop, then I can search through there for the Quest Travel A. Select Convert and it opens up the database. This is my navigation pane. Here you'll notice that I have the path for the file that I've opened. The first thing I want to do is I actually want to open one of the tables. I'm going to double click here where it says Tours and that opens the table for me and I can see the information available. Next in the navigation pane, I want to double click on one of the queries that has the information in it. And a query selects a subset of the data from one or more of my tables. So I'm going to select Tour Sales by double clicking. And that brings up the query for the Tour Sales. One of the options that I have is I can double click on Leg Legacy and I can change it to Heritage and click anywhere outside of that and you'll notice that it changed my data. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to double click on Heritage. I can change that to Legacy and then I can click in another row and it changes all the data that matches that. Next I can double click on the Customer Roster form under form. So I will find customer roster and double click it to select it. And you'll notice it brings up a form. People tend to find keying into forms is easier than keying into a spreadsheet. You can manipulate the data that you have so that it's easier for you to key in. What I can do here is I can double click tour in American Legacy Tour here and I can type in rally. Once I've done that, I can click any name in the middle part of the window. Okay, then I can double click the tour sales report to open it. So I'm going to look for tours sale report. So I'll come down here to reports and find tour sales. Double click on it and I can look for the information. Here it is printed out, American Legacy Rally, where this originally started out when we opened the database as American Heritage Race. Once you've looked at this information, you can simply close out Access itself, or you can right click and close out each spreadsheet. Now the changes that you have made still occur inside of this database. Make sure you save your work.